We're in the upstairs attic. This is the upstairs indoor air handler. Furnace, if you will. Upstairs. says upstairs right here. The furnace is seven years old. It was manufactured seven years ago, but um, since the evaporator coil is six years old and the condensing unit is six years old, this is probably set on a shelf for a couple months before it was all installed at one time. So even though this was manufactured seven years ago, it's probably seen six years of service. The air filter is uh, at the unit. It's in the attic. It's on the right-hand side of the unit. That would be the east side of the house. It's a 20 by 25 by 4. You want to you want to change that. Um, the gray material is it's really hard to tell if they're dirty or not. I don't have a date on this. You need to start. You need to start it in those buckles just like that. This is the furnace compartment. It looks pretty decent. It's supported right. The only thing that I'm finding, I don't see a care and use manual. I think I said that already. I'm being redundant. But also, the primary evaporator drain line right here. Okay, it does not have a P, does not have a P trap, and it's not insulated. So no care and use manual. P trap's not insulated. Uh, no P trap, no insulation. And the gas line's out of the way. The gas piping's out of the way. Um, that's kind of nice, actually. I'm not finding a lot of things wrong with this particular installation. Mastic sealer is doing good all around. The, and it could be a little better. It could be a little better. Okay, I gotta pick on something. I gotta pick on something. Okay.